Do you fall asleep in the jersey? No, no, no. no. We, we you guys are not. We play tennis for entire week and uh, have been watching matches. Uh, we are up whenever it's be it a Champions League match <laughs> or a late night Premier League match. Yeah. So we'll get together and again we'll get together again for this match and we'll be screaming it. Hey guys, how's it going? This is your host Kaushal Raj. Today I have with me three wonderful guests, three football fans. We often see football fans on television screaming their lungs out for their favorite club. But there's a completely different world out there. In India, for example, we have three big fans of Man City, Ankit, Puneet and Karan, who are going to tell us about their journey, their experiences and their favorite football club in the world, Man City. Hi guys, how's it going? It's so good. Hi. Okay, so the fans really want to hear your journey. How did you guys become Man City fans and why Man City? Why don't you can just start? So the first match I watched with Man City was when uh, Aguero scored a double over Man City. He seems to always score doubles, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's that great. Yeah. So I wasn't much into football before. So um, that was the first match I watched and I was in Shindy Hope to Man City. And since then I've been, I've been having missed any match Yeah. Man City. Yeah. Uh, just like him, I, mean, I started uh, with 2011-12 season and uh, the first match which I saw was when City hosted United and uh, when companies scored that brilliant header goal and the entire Etihad had yeah. so, And then the Aguero moment, uh, the final match of the season. So yeah, from then I'm the fan and I will remain a fan for life. For life? Yeah. Even for me, the journey started in 2011. The first match of City which I saw was uh, the Old Trafford game, the 6-1, hugely popular game. Since then I have watched like every match of City and I'm a huge fan, a proud fan. I wish to stay the same for them. So wow, you guys have now been fans for close to a decade of Man City. And Man City have had some fabulous great players, some great forwards, great defenders. I want to know your favourite players. Uh, yeah, you want to start? Yeah, uh, my favourite player has to be David Silva. I think Man City... Uh, what, what do they call him? Is this a nickname, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, El Mago. Yeah. I, I think Manchester is a really lucky club to have a player like David Silva. He could have easily walked into any, yeah. any any other club, even Barcelona, I think. True. He's that good. Your favorite player? Aguero. Of course, Aguero. <laughs> he always seems to score. Yeah, yeah, he is the best player city. And, uh, and I, again, I mean, we are lucky to have him and mm. he has always performed. And uh, let's hope he wins the Champions League this time. Yeah. My favorite, favorite player has to be David Silva as well. Uh, he has been so consistent over the years. Kevin De Bruyne comes a close second, mm -hmm. but yeah, David Silva is in. Wow. KDV will be as good as him in the coming time. He is already considered to be the best player in the world right now. Now just looking at you guys, there are plenty of fun gifts or whatever you guys seem to have around. I mean, all of you got your jerseys. I don't know, there's a, a <laughs> Etihad Stadium board there. There seems to be a couple of interesting memorabilia here. What story? Uh, how did you guys get this? And uh, you're part of the fan club as well. I think you guys host screenings. Uh, so, but can you tell me something about uh, that particular story which I you telling me earlier? Yeah, so this is something which I got from a season ticket holder of Manchester okay. City. And uh, I was at the airport watching a match. Uh, City was host, City was hosting United that day. And uh, this fellow comes from me and it, it turns out that he's from Manchester and a season ticket holder. So when he went back to Manchester, this was something which club obviously... He gave you a ring? Yeah. No, he did not. <laughs> So this was something oh, wow. the club had given to him uh, for helping in designing the new uh, badge, the new logo and uh, on Christmas he had sent it, uh, he sent this to me. So yeah, this is one of on the... On Christmas? Yeah. Okay. That was a gift. So it's like a prize possession for me and yeah, that's it. Now it's time for me to test if you guys are real fans of Man City. So what we're doing here is we prepared a little game to test Ankit, Puneet and Karan. We're going to show them some iconic pictures from Man City's history and we want you to guess or guess or tell us when this moment was. So you guys can just look here and tell us. So are you good to go? Are you ready? Alright, let's see the first one. Alright. So, like you can see, there are a bunch of players in the background. Can you tell us about this moment and... Uh... Uh, this moment took place last year. This was the second last match uh, of the season. And it was the last match at the Etia Stadium. This was Yaya Toure's uh, farewell game. And uh, this was the memorabilia which was given to him by Kono Toure. Alright, cool. You got that spot on. Moving on to a slightly more difficult one. Alright, uh, what do we have here? 
Okay. So we can see some fans in the background and uh, this was uh, I guess Aguero's goal. goal, yeah. What Aguero's goal? Aguero scores so many goals. Yeah, yeah. So this what happened was uh, Aguero rounded uh, around the keeper. Uh, Pepe Viana went to close down Aguero yeah. inside the box yeah. and he almost squeezed the ball. He squeezed the ball in from a from from the zero angle. Yeah, okay, I'm going to add a level of difficulty to this. Can you tell me the final result of this game? Uh, City won the match 3-1. No. No, it was a 2-2 draw. It was a 2-2 draw. Spot on, Karan. Well done. Okay, moving on to another one. All right, uh, fun little player that we have here. Do you know what the story is behind this photo? The story behind this is that Vincent company, company completed a ticket yeah. uh, subbing for Manchester Are you sure he's just not taking Aguero's number and becoming yeah. the striker? Completed <laughs> ticket. Yeah. So yeah, the story is? That Vincent Kompany completed a decade uh, serving for Manchester City, and this was the memorabilia which was given to him by the club for the service for the huge effort that he has uh, committed for the club, and it was very nice to see him uh, serve for the club for such a long time. Spot on! You guys have got a three out of three. Moving on. Ah, this is the famous QPR goal, 93-20, the iconic goal. Do you guys think there'll ever be a moment like this in the Premier League again? Never, never ever. So yeah, this is Aguero's. They should make a movie on this. They 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 might make a movie on this very soon. They made made a documentary on it. Yeah, but it was. I think Hollywood will make a movie. All right, moving on. Okay, so what we have here is we have three Premier League titles. All right. We want you to tell us which photo represents which title and which year it was won. I want you to start with the one on the top right corner. All right, and for what reason you're telling me? Spot the top right and tell me which year that is first. That's the last. One. That's the 1718. Yeah. 1718. And why are you saying it's? What are the hints that you take? Nicholas Otamendi. No, I can see David Silva ball. <laughs> okay, that's actually the reasoning I went through as well. David Silva ball stands out, but yeah, Otamendi and David Silva ball. Now, which one do you want to take? Do you want to take the one to the left? One on the left is the first, the first one. That we won in Roberto Mancini. Oh, yeah. That is our king. Roberto Mancini. Yeah. yeah. Any other players that you remember from that uh, squad that who aren't uh, in the other squad? Yeah, I can see. I can see. Deong. Yeah. Yeah. There's Edin Dzeko as well. Yeah. 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 And uh, the one at the bottom. That's the thirteen forty seasons. And. All right, perfect. So the hint was Negredo in the bottom, ball David Silva, and you had a number of other players. So let's be honest, guys. I took it a little easy on you at the last time around. I think I gave you all these pictures, and you guys had so many clues to go upon. But now it's getting serious. We're going to play a number game. I'm going to show you a number, except the first question, and you're going to have to tell me what the number signifies. But I have a bonus question just before that. Can you tell me how many goals Sergio Aguero has scored for Man City in the Premier League? Is it 1.51? <laughs> I think he's guessing. Does anyone else want to guess? Uh, 1.47. 1.47? 1.45? He's the real fan. It is 1.51. Bang on respect. Was that a guess? Yeah, it was a guess. <laughs> I was sure that he has scored near to uh, 1.52. Wow, that, that's really impressive, man. And I think you should take a treat from them after. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to move on to a number. And you have to tell us what this number means. All right, can we see the first number? What does this number mean? What does this number stand for? Edison's jersey number. Yeah, that's Edison's jersey number. He certainly changed a lot. I mean, I like his tattoo for one, but uh, has he added a bit of element to your? Uh... Yeah, I mean, they, I mean, he he suits Pep's uh, game of style, starting from the back, yeah. from the back, and he's very confident on the ball. I I hope to see him play in the midfield one day. <laughs> he's, he's that good with the ball. Wow. All right, moving on. <laughs> so, what does this number signify? This. This was the result of the game at Old Trafford in the 2011 FC. All right, yeah, this was pretty simple, right? So I'm going to make it a little tricky. I want you to tell me, and I'm going to tell you if you get it right, or how many players, how many, who, who was the starting eleven for Man City on this day when Man City beat United 6-1? Starting eleven, go from the goalkeeper, and you can take your turn. Goalkeeper was Joe Hart. Correct. And then Michael Richards. Richards, company, uh, Les Scott. Uh, okay, let's stop there. So you've gotten the goalkeeper and the defenders spot on. Moving on. In the midfield, there was Gareth Barry. Right. James Milner. Right. Gareth Perfect. Okay, and you have three players left. Uh, Mario, Jekyll, David Silva. No, Jekyll didn't start. Mario uh, was started and then Jekyll was substituted. Then was David Silva. Yeah. Perfect. You guys got 11 on 11. You guys are real fans of Manchester City. Very well done. Let's move on. What is this number? Mean. 14 is the 
Laporte's jersey number. Yeah, he's another one who's done well for Man City, yeah, hasn't he? I think he will turn out to be one of the best defenders in the world. And he's an ideal replacement for Vincent Company. Yeah, he is. He has suited to the role very well. And the best part is that he is left footed and he suits the uh, Pep's play perfectly. Correct. And so he's the ideal candidate for us. Alright, awesome. Yeah, let's move on. What? <laughs> <laughs> he is one of our own, Phil Foden. <laughs> this is his jersey number. It is Phil Foden's jersey number. And uh, going forward, Phil Foden, a future superstar for Manchester City? Definitely. Definitely. As, he, as they call him, the stop Foden, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, yeah, let's move on. There's actually another one. Okay. 5-0. Uh, what does this signify? The when we got a lady card against Liverpool last season. And are you hoping for uh, more coming soon? Yeah, we're not a final this time, but, but we would really like to get a win. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a great way to start the new year, Man City versus Liverpool, which can go a huge way, I think, to deciding who gets an upper hand in the Premier yeah. League title this year. I think that's going to be the most uh, important match of the season. Right, and uh, who do you think, Liverpool has a great squad, number of great players in midfield and attack. Who is the biggest threat to Man City, you think? I think it's Mohamed Salah, of course. He has been banging goals like Kevin Center. He is the major threat. Of course, they have sorted the defence with Van Dijk mm. and, and Alisson coming in. But Salah, Mane and probably Firmino, they are the major threats for us. Do you agree with that? Or? I agree, but uh, I'll say the biggest threat is Van Dijk because he has again given him the stability in the back. You know, what I find fascinating about there are lots of interesting battles between Man City and Liverpool. But one thing that's going to be interesting both at the back and the front is a battle with the Brazilians. I mean, if you notice, both teams have great goalkeepers, Brazilian. Both teams have great forwards, Brazilian. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Is it going to be Jesus or Firmino or Alisson or Edison? Who's it going to be? Of course, it will be, but uh, I mean, more at the back. More at the back, and I think Edison will come up with uh, he'll, he'll shine out. Um, because again, um, he, he suits Pep's style and uh, the way he's confident on the ball, I think he, he will come out uh, with fine colours. You battle the Brazilian. I think pick. it will be a very equal battle. Oh wow. Especially mm. between Edison and Alisson. But I also think that Edison is going to edge it. And he suits the style of play that Pep got in the And that's why I think he has it in him to shine on the day. So both of you, what's interesting, you mentioned Pep Guardiola, right? And Pep has his style and everyone, he, you've seen what he's done. But on the other side of the fence is another manager who has his own style, Jurgen Klopp. Now these guys are adversaries, they've battled it out, they've had some great battles in the Bundesliga. But now, it's the battle that's heating up the Premier League. I'd say it's the biggest battle. In It's Guardiola versus Klopp. Uh, what do you think about their styles and uh, is there a style you prefer? I know you guys are Man City fans, but do you like the pressing style of Klopp, for example? Yeah, I do. I personally really like the way Jurgen Klopp's, you know, he sets up his team. Uh, he really focuses on pressing hmm. the opposition. And it's a, it's been a feature of every Klopp side. Like they are yeah. extremely yeah. offensive. See, both of them are great tacticians. I mean, they, they bring positivity to the game. Right. Uh, they don't play that negative football. And yes, it's a great battle between the two geniuses, but uh, and yes, as you said, Klopp uh, uh, is leading, but yeah, given, uh, I, I, we, we trust in Pep and I believe Pep will <laughs> edge it out. Alright, Klopp versus Guardiola, your pick. I think Guardiola is kind of, judging the way Klopp is playing over the past few years, like we saw in the last game versus Liverpool as well, Guardiola know how to control the Liverpool players. The players were set up well, the tactics were right. Okay, and who has to shine for City for for City to win this game? Who has to do really well? Kevin De Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne? You highlighted him as... He has to be a midfield masterclass from David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah. Alright, and I want your prediction and even the goal scorers. Okay, so for me, it's a City victory. And scoreline? Scoreline will be 2 good. And wait, who's going to score? Uh, the goals will come from Sergio Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne. Awesome. 2-0. 2-0. 1-0. 1 David Silva with the goal. Wow. It's, it's going to be interesting to see if that's the way it pans out. But it's been absolute fabulous talking to all three of you. It's been great hearing your stories about Man City, about your journey, about how it's like a family with Man City. And uh, I wish you guys the best of everything, best of success and Man City the best too. And uh, stay tuned and all the best for the rest of the season. This has been your host Kaushal Raj signing off. Have a wonderful day.